Howdy, Minister. Just doing doing what, what the Minister of Health ordered. And that horrible fucking marijuana stuff. Kills millions and millions and millions of people a day. Oh. Uh, oh, no. No, right. That's the guys with the guns that are killing them to stop them from smoking it. Well, and the criminals that it, that it attracts. So, anyhow, <clears throat> as he ordered, hours ahead of time, April 1st, all ganja must be mixed in with the cat litter. And I took that to be used cat litter. So, anyhow, there's the last of the medicinal cannabis. So just as instructed, there's my retinal scan. Oh, don't worry, I'll probably have at least 10 days if I'm not too stressed out before I start suffering irrevocable retinal detachment from the glaucoma problems I have. The important thing is that you have, you have your privatized prison uh, <clears throat> inventory. And we all know that peaceful, medicinal cannabis users, as you call them, potheads, crazy potheads, would definitely make the most profitable uh, inmates. You don't have to worry about uh, the uh, surprises, costs of security upwellings, because, well, you know, they smoke Soma. That's why people like you exist because lots of us <clears throat> managed to medicate ourselves enough that we could stand the outrage and the insanity that your criminal actions were causing. And, well, you know, if it wasn't for pot, things like you would never have been allowed to exist this long. So, anyhow, you do have 18%. Whoops, sorry there. Uh, well, 18.9% when you got elected there of uh, voting Canadians' consent. Uh, I don't know how you make that a majority government, but you got everyone believing it. So we're going with that. Oh, this is going to hurt. It's, it's really hard to harm yourself, and it's also criminal. But so be it, eh? There we go. There's just so many reasons why this shouldn't be listed as a harmful narcotic with no medicinal values, but we know how you deal with science, you know, starting with those Environment Canada scientists that, but, 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 bus, bus, the radiator detectors are going off. You're fired, okay? So we, we know what you think of scientists science and that whole stuff. It just creates questions and truths and informed consent and gets in the way of any simple tyranny. Granted, you know, you're only an 18%, 18.9% majority, but that's good enough for most Canadians. Whatever you've done to them, they're fine with it. We spent seven years asking the question, do you want to assume your own power of attorney? The answer has consistently been absolutely nothing to us. Are you crazy? Have other people make my decisions for me? So, I guess by default we continue on with the status quo, uh, which is, you know, basically assumed representative democracy and um, degraded at every which angle and um, treated like, well, like corporate lawyers do in their own occult ways and uh,
that's the way it's going to be. The Queen told you what to do, and you are telling Canadians how it's going to be. You gotta, you gotta respect a, a lackey, little robot with your kind of uh, determination. And um, and um, well, we'll just leave it at that. No. You've got enough fluffers with that huge PMO budget to, well, you know, silence anything. Hire shills to hack in and make anyone say things they never said. All that kind of shit that anyone would want from a, uh, their, their overlord, their, the one holding their power of attorney, which, you know, they consent to. When you, that's basically it. When you sign any of that corporate shit. So. Just bear with me. We'll get on with this. Just making sure that there's a, a record. And I give them the uncertainty of the ruling and how it can be flipped like that. I've done as you've required. <clears throat> Gotten rid of all my the medicine that allows me to actually eat since January 2012 and keep a little food in there, almost enough to keep alive, since, well, you know, that all that uranium that you guys spent a lot of money studying back in 85 out yonder there, you know, that ended up in here through my well water. No guts, right? Half my, half my digestive tract is missing. So, I don't know, I guess now I can just cost the Canadian taxpayer all kinds of money. And, um, some of you, don't worry about your Freedom 50 thing. Don't worry about your Canada pension plan. It's being wisely invested in privatized prison. And, um, when you need a place to stay when you're old, because you know what your kids are ready, you can get them in the Done. This him. Mix it up a bit. And as you can see, I'll, I'll dump out the grass. it around a bit. I think you want to chop it up and I, I think they mean to use used kitty litter since there's lots of turds mixed in there so it um, it helps the ganja. They'll make sure that the seeds and stuff go stale so it doesn't you know they don't have like a landfill sites for all this wasted medicine sprouting up all kinds of seeds and stuff. I think that's the idea using kitty litter. There's nothing to do with cat birds or cat birds. Okay. Let's just show you what we've done here. See? All emptied out. As ordered. 
Nobody goes against the Harper. See? All done. Just like you ordered. Your queen is going to be so happy. Yes. Because it was mainly us types that were getting in the way of fermenting, you know, a rebellion, uh, like a Chinese cultural revolution. And she wants to see the uh, few levels taken off of the pyramid, you know. And, well, obviously, you, I mean, even if you have to pay to do it, you still want to be able to blame the, the slave uprising, as has always been the case, right? Makes sense. Alrighty. Well, now that we've mixed the turds and the cat food out. Well, let's just mix it in with the garbage and, and I guess we take this all to Legislative or Parliament Hill or whatever on the, on the, on April the 1st. If I understood that right. I'll uh, take you back inside. in there. I'll show you Rona's rather than make this. I have to edit this. Because anytime I do anything with my videos and allow them to do it, well then they've got a legal recourse to change the wording and change everything around and tamper with the data, right? So we don't want to do that. So we're just and the cat litter here and all the grass and stuff. And just like you ordered. Alright, see I'm not uh, I'm not disrespecting your 18.9% assumed authority, Mr. Harper and Minions. I'm, I'm doing my very best to comply with your insane constitutional or charter of rights breaking laws until somebody has the fortitude to, you know, province or whatever, just like they did with the long guns and all that other shit, and uh, grab section. Section 33 of the Charter of Rights, and, um, or go through your provincial or federal, uh, Human rights and commissions and file complaints against the government and which all these things will pay for your time once you're successful, you know. And and, and more 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 than pay for a good competent lawyer. And um well there's that in take this Oh yeah, right, no, no, not not to the curb, no. Right. We have to uh We have to take this on April the 1st, I think the instruction said. Yeah, April the 1st to your uh, day of action, or whatever the Minister of Health called it, at, um, at your uh, legislative assembly building, whether you're in, you know, Manitoba or, or, uh, or, or BC, or uh, if you're, you know, around Ottawa, we'll show up. I think a bunch of sensible BC and, and the other organizations that are trying to protect the civil rights and liberties of not just medicinal marijuana uh, patients, but uh, or even uh, potheads, but all, all Canadians in general, right? Because never mind the privatized prison and all this stuff that's going to go all well, your your medical and your pension and your your school money and stuff, just like it did in the states. Your uh, Yeah, enough said. This whole thing's pretty disgusting here. We'll just, we'll, we'll run you inside and um, give you those phone numbers. So if you have to, you know, like ship through Canada Post or whatever to, to occur it or send it by drone courier or drone bomb or whatever, and get your cat littered uh, 
cannabis, your marijuana, and your medicine. Get it over to your Rona Ambrose right here. And remember, you don't have to, uh, there's no postage when you're sending shit to the legislative or parliament. So, yeah. yeah there, there we go, that's convenient. You might be able to get rides and stuff if you, uh, if you go through, here's, uh, Sensible BC's Day of Action page. Yeah, from Sensible BC. There you go. All right. So your herb, your ganja, your medicine, uh, your happy smoke, your soma. <clears throat> Get it shipped off to the government because apparently they need it. Um, don't forget to cut it with cat litter and denature it. And um, we'll see you at Camp Fima when the weather turns cold again. <sighs> Whoever thought Freedom 50 would have been like this, huh? I did. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's been my kind. Been trying to interfere and help you all make informed choices and 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 know and exercise your will and your rights and you know. Well, I've been doing it all my time back here. So anyhow, Kuluski, I care. Duh. But I'm closing down everything, as you all know. The uh, the network's for sale. The affiliates will be uh, pissed off with the proceeds, and uh, and well, that's it. Because you've all spoken by not speaking, and uh, you know you've all been given the word. And I know Harper would never would have <coughs> kept you from seeing it. And um, I don't know. I guess you guys just want to keep things as is, despite the fact that they're not as is. They're government's completely out of control it's a bunch of global Zionists and um, they own everything and you okay. and they don't need you no more well that's their belief they're all crazy Do I don't know how many more of these we'll have and then we'll switch to Skycast Sky cast once they uh, once they uh, start fucking you all over with the rest of the Blue Beam show. Tuluski. <laughs>